Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a look to make eyes look bigger. And if this is for anyone who just wants to get a more brighter and wide eyed look. So what I have done already is applied a bit of foundation to my face. That is not mandatory for this tutorial, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to put on a little bit of foundation. And it's actually not even a foundation, I'm just using a Mecca Skin Tint foundation, so it's very sheer, and that's pretty much all I've done. All I do have is last night's skincare on my eyes. So the first thing that we're gonna do to start making the eyes look bigger is applying a concealer. And you can use any concealer that you fancy, but I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken concealer which is this one here it's the five in one concealer so i'm going to be applying that all around the eyes so under the eyes the inner corner of the eyes which is the side of the nose and also around the upper eyelids as well now i am looking down into a mirror so i can see what i'm doing and i'm applying the concealer as i have mentioned top and bottom of the eyes. Now to blend that out, I'm actually gonna be using a damp beauty sponge. And the damp beauty sponge that I'm actually using, this is what I applied my skin tint foundation with. So I'm just gonna use the other side and blend in the concealer. So it doesn't really matter which way you start, whether it's the top part or the bottom part of the lid, but you just wanna make sure that you are blending that concealer into the skin. Make sure to get the corners of the nose there. I love this concealer because of the consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and you can build it up or you can sheer it out as much as you want. Now the second step, you can either use a translucent powder or a very, very, very light neutral color all over the lids. So I have two that I really like in terms of giving a bright, wide-eyed look. And I like to use the Pat McGrath, and this one is the, it's in light, and it's the Skin Fetish Sublime Blurring Under Eye Powder. And a really good drugstore alternative to this powder is the Rimmel Be Kind and Free Translucent Powder. I've been using this powder a lot. I'm actually gonna be going in with the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder with a large fluffy brush. And I'm pretty much just putting that all over the upper eyelid. It's really finely milled. Look, the only difference between the drugstore one and this one is this one is a little bit more whiter on the skin. So if you like a little bit more of a brighter effect, this one definitely is the one to go for. Now you can make your eyes look bigger using different techniques. Now you can either use an eyeliner pencil on the upper lash line and you can blend it out, or you can use a shadow in the crease, uh, making sure that, you know, if you're going to be using on the crease, you could use the same color underneath the three quarters of your lash line to make it look bigger. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to use shadow and I'm using one by this, this little palette here by Smashbox. It's the punked palette has got a really nice neutral brown shade, which is, um, this one here. And it looks kind of darkish in the pan, but I'm gonna be going in with a really, really light hand. With a medium fluffy brush, I'm just dipping into that shadow really lightly, tapping off and putting that shadow on the crease of my eyelid. And I'm looking directly into my mirror here. My eye is open and I'm just looking down into my mirror. And I'm just creating like what would we call this? Pretty much like a contour. It's like your perfect contour shade. And it's just creating a bit of shadow. Going in to do the other eye. And like I said, you can skip this step and go straight into just doing the eyeliner with the eyeshadow on the upper eyelid or an eye pencil close to the lash line and blending it out really, really close to the lash line, which we are going to do as well. 
Now I'm just using a flat shader brush and I'm dipping into that exact same shadow. And I am basically going to put that shadow all underneath the lower lash line. Now we're getting a pointed eyeliner brush and we're dipping into that shadow again, the same exact one. Now you don't need to wet the eyeshadow because you can, you can choose to dampen this and make it wet, but I find that even if you apply it dry, you're still gonna get the same effect. So we're just gonna be doing a little wing. Well, actually we're gonna be lining the close to the lash line that shadow all the way down to the inner corner of the eye. And then we're gonna be creating a little wing to give the illusion that our lashes are gonna be more longer on the outer edges. So it, it's kind of like a fake eyelash, if you know what I mean. Now, if you didn't want to use a eyeshadow brush, you can go in with a eye pencil. The one that I could have used today is this one by Shantakai in a slate shade. And I would have pretty much just lined the upper lashes and the lower lash line exactly how I would have done the shadow. And then I would have blended it out with my finger. Now, the next thing we're using is the Ultimate Boost Volume Primer by Rimmel. It's a white mascara primer looks like that and we're going to be coating the top and bottom lashes with this white primer so we've got the white eyelash primer on the eyes now now the final step is going in with mascara I'm using the Hypnose Mascara by Lancome. What I'm doing here is I'm not gonna be coating the lashes right from the roots. I'm gonna be doing it close to the roots, but not right to the roots, because when you leave a little bit of a gap for the mascara at the base of the root, it actually gives you a more wide-eyed effect. And now, I'll just do the bottom lashes. Exactly the same thing. You don't wanna start at the root of the lashes. You just wanna do pretty much the tips. Okay, so let's have a look at a close up of without the mascara with. I know that some people like to use a white or nude eyeliner pencil in the rim of the eye but I don't like it. Sometimes I feel like it just looks so obvious that you're wearing a white eyeliner pencil in the eye and it kind of looks a bit weird to me. But go ahead, if you like that vibe, do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with somebody who you think might get some use out of it. Thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. It really means the world to me. Thank you so much. I do hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.